Hey, what's up? This is Steve Camaro, and this is part toi. That's like three in French of, uh, you know, how to get laid in your van. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So, yeah, uh, you know, in part one and then part two, uh, you know, we talked about the first, you know, the bed situation and then uh, the toilet, you know, situation. Uh, so, the third segment, part two, uh, you know, I'm going to cover really important shit and it has to do with the ambience. All right. Now, you know, you want to create some killer ambience inside your van when you're with your chick, you know. The van's a perfect place to do it because it's a really, like, you know, cozy little situation in there, man. So, you know, dudes with apartments and shit, you know, they got so much fucking space that, you know, it's hard to create the right kind of ambience. But inside a van, man, you know, it's really easy to do. How do you do that? Well, here's what you don't do, and I'm gonna refer to my buddy Tony again, man. You know, fuck, he, he uh, you know, he called me over one day, and uh, one night, and right before he was about to have his girl over, and he says, you know, Steve, man, you know, can you come on over here, and uh, you know, I want you to kind of, you know, just, you know, check out my ambience, you know, and, and, and see if I'm, I'm, I'm up to par with my ambience. You know, I got my girl coming over and shit, and you know, I'm like, yeah, okay, I'll, you know. I'll give it a little review for you, you know, I'll review it, and uh, I went over there, man, and so Tony's got fucking candles, lit, all right, lit candles, I mean, I'm talking like a dozen and a half, all the fuck around his van on the inside, you know, and he's like, he was all impressed with himself, he's like, yeah, what do you think, man, yeah, you know, I'm, I'm, am I dialing it in and shit, and I'm like, I just shook my head, man. I'm like, man, this guy's not fucking, you know, this is like two and two equals, you know, like five for, for this dude. You know, he's not getting it, man. So, you know, I kind of explained to Tony, I'm like, you know, the whole point of, of the ambience is definitely heating things up, you know, but you're going to be heating things up in like a different kind of way, man. You're not fucking thinking this through because anyone knows, man, you know, shag and wagon, man, when you, you know, when you're rocking in the van, you know, this motherfucker moves, you know, if, if you're rocking proper, you know, if you're rocking proper, you know, this thing fucking moves, you know what I'm saying, so, um, you know, if you're rocking proper, this thing's gonna be moving, man, it's gonna be fucking moving, I mean, I've had this thing moving, where I like, I think I jumped a couple parking spots up, you know, I'm like, what the fuck, you know, so if you're rocking proper, man, this thing's gonna be fucking moving, and what's gonna happen with all those fucking dozen and a half candles, those things are going down, man, your fucking shit's going up in flames, you know, come on, man, Jesus, fuck, so I'm like, Tony, man, shit, you know, so, uh, you definitely don't want to go with that, you know, a lot of dudes think they're gonna be all fucking romantic and shit, with use the use of the candles, you know, but it's just gonna cause a fucking disaster, man. Uh, so what do you do? So you definitely want to go with some light situation, you know, that's a definite, but the candles are out, what you want to do is get those fucking strip lights, man, or Christmas lights, or they got all kinds of shit out there now, and all of that creates some real killer ambience that chicks fucking dig, man, so you definitely want to go with the lights, either strip lights or the fucking Christmas lights, and like I said, uh, you know, some of these are USB, and others, you can just do battery, uh, you know, and a lot of them have these little fucking remote controls and shit, and you can, you know, change the fucking colors of lights, and you can change the fucking, you know, tempo and, and all that shit, man. What I don't recommend doing is, like, the strobe light shit, man. That shit gets fucking annoying, man. It's gonna give you a headache, it's gonna give her a headache, you're not gonna be able to fucking, you know, perform at your, your best and shit when you got that, that fucking shit going. So just be cool about the lights, you know, be cool, you know, if you wanna fade them in and out and shit, that's cool. Just go slow, but, you know, don't fucking, you know, get some fucking dance party going, techno shit going in there, you know, as far as the lighting situation goes. So yeah, I'm not one of these, you know, VLPs, you know, I'm not gonna give you some fucking link down below to click on my fucking Amazon link and shit, like, fuck that, you know. Uh, you can just go on Amazon and just search for, like, you know, uh, you know, auto strip lights or some shit or whatever. 
you know, and you'll find them on there, man. It's all kinds of, to choose from, you know, everyone's got their Pacific setup going on, you know, so I'm not just going to give you some general link so you can click on my fucking, I'm not a VLP, so, you know, ain't going to do this shit, but, uh, you can just check it out and see what's best for you. Um, 